So removing a lower outer ball joint on a 2004 Mini Cooper S is pretty easy. First of all, you need to remove all the baggage, the caliper and the rotor, and the dust shield. I have uh, another video on that. You remove these two 13 millimeter bolts. And after that, you remove the 18 millimeter nut on the bottom there. I actually broke this one off. That's why I have to change this ball joint in the first place. Then you go to your front end service kit and use the appropriate size piece in there and pop the ball joint out. So you just take your ball joint puller Shove it on like that. This is how it would go if the nut wasn't broken off. These are locking nuts, so you just stick a 5mm hex wrench in the end of the ball joint shaft to hold it steady while you take the nut off. Typically these ball joints come out of here by leaving them bolted in to the control arm removing the two side bolts and using a hammer and hitting down on the control arm and it kind of draws the ball joint out of there. Since I broke the nut, I'm going to try to dremel some little notches in there so I can force a chisel or flathead screwdriver in there to force it out. the new ball joint. I'll put a link in the description where you can get one for yourself. And I'm just going to put some anti-seize in the ball joint socket so that it doesn't uh, seize in there like this again. up to 41 foot pounds.
and that's how to do it. Subscribe and stay tuned for a ton of front end work videos on this car, and thanks for watching.